73. Let's get over to my man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And Basil, folks, okay, has got a subscriber webinar coming up. It's going to be this coming Tuesday, March 19th. 4 to 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Now, of course, Basil has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, this is for his subscribers. But guess what, folks? You can be a subscriber very easy. The way you do this, you come over to our website at TFNN. You hit subscribe. You can either go for a month, six months, or a year. And what that's going to do is that's going to put you into the, the webinar this coming Tuesday. And Basil is going to be talking about the technical tools needed for the coming few months. Okay? So when you get... Basil's newsletter, number one, you're going to get a great newsletter for the month. He has approximately 12 archives there that you can understand exactly how the Chapman Wave works. And then, of course, you're going to be into this workshop. Now, if you can't make the workshop live, remember that the workshop is also archived. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. So we're looking at, hopefully the timing is just right, this coming Tuesday. I'd say because, it is. Uh, <laughs> we're banging around things, at highs up here. So A lot of things are happening. So I thought it would be appropriate at this particular point, since I'm anticipating that there's a digestive phase unfolding, and that some of the stocks that have had just spectacular gains are probably going to take a breather, and that there are a lot of stocks that are starting to form a very nice base looking out for the summer, that, uh, well, it depends on which country you're in, but some for us, which will be <laughs> June, July, August. Yes. Um, so I thought that the technical tools that are really important, there's one in particular I'll do right now because this has always been so important to me. I call it the technical tool of last resort. So you look at this. Here is, let me just move that away. Here's the, the Dow chart. This is a daily chart. Same thing on the right, same daily okay. chart. On the one I've got uh, the candlesticks. So candlesticks to me are also very important. I've got a bunch of candlesticks that I've kind of invented that are my own Chapman Wave Roman candle, a bunch of others. But most importantly, I'm looking at patterns as well. And you can see on the right is the same chart, except this is the closing price uh, during the day. So this is an intraday chart. And it shows you that there's, if you look at this visually, you can see there's an arch forming over here. Well, there was a little arch forming there, but that nine period moving average never went pink. It didn't go, it's green. Okay. So it's above the 40, it never went under it. And now we're starting to head towards this level where there's a really good chance that over the coming week, we will see a pink nine period exponential moving average. And let me show you what's so important in, about Basel, this. In Basel, is that because on the daily or the weekly? This is the daily. Both, Day the, no. Usually I have daily, weekly, monthly. In this case, it's the daily. Okay, cool. I've added yep. the on balance volume. Yep. This is And this is the same thing, except without candlestick charts. It just, it's the price, a closing price that keeps every yes. day, intraday, you can see it coming down. So what's really interesting here is, here's the same thing. Now, you just asked me, is that a daily or weekly? Look, here's the daily on the left. So in the Chapman Wave methodology, it's a very easy process. You try to identify the lowest load bar, and then when the technical starts to confirm, it goes from a buy signal to a buy mode. And when the stochastic, that's this gray and green, uh, sorry, red and green line right here, these two lines, when that holds steady above 80%, that's good. But when it's steady above 90%, that's fabulous. But there's also a certain time frame that I'll be talking about that this loss, and then when it comes down, there's often a good chance that it's going to pull back quite sharply. So that's at this point, it's still looking very good. That's the nine, that's the, um, the st slow stochastic. Here's the MAC. This is the weekly chart. This is the MACD, and you can see that the price of the MACD most of the time, and I say most of the time in my, in my show with the Tiger Technicians hour uh, this morning, I was explaining that there are some, there are times. For instance, look at the daily chart. Here's the Dow, because what what you look at. Let's go to the weekly chart. You see the chart pattern, right? If you sort of half close your eyes, you can see that this pattern right here of the price of the Dow okay. weekly chart matches very much the price of the MACD, even the stochastic, but even more so the MACD. But every once in a while, there's a divergence where if you had to use the MACD alone, you'd be really fooled because look, here's the MACD going lower and lower and lower, yet the price is going higher. And as I showed you before, that nine period, that nine fourteen, I call it the nine fourteen moving averages, was holding green and it's still green. It's really close to turning down, and yet there's that arch formation that I was talking about. 
I'm going to talk about these techniques. Here's a technique. This is the Champ Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Look how many times the price. I'll show you this on the S&P as well. Look at this. How many times it got into that little inside track, couldn't break above it. Look, even now, look at that S&P. Yes. It just got repelled, repelled, repelled. So on the downside, I've got an inside track. I call this inside track propellant zone. On the downside, it's inside track. Uh, sorry, repellent zone on the bottom is the propellant zone. So now the S&P, the nine is still over the 14. So this is this hasn't given a real signal yet. I've got it on a short term, 120 minute chart, but the S&P hasn't yet given the signal to even go to a sell signal. The Dow, in fact, has given that. So this is going to be very important because using just the one tool, that I'm going to be showing many tools. Look at the QQQ in the index 100. Look at that. Here's, oh, let me show it to you. It's even better. You can see it much clearer here. Look, here's the QQQ. Both the charts are daily charts. Look what happened. Look, there's the Q. Look at that green. It is so close, yeah. much closer than it was back on the, remember that sudden sharp pullback on 21st of February. But this is different. Now that nine period moving average is coming down, on balance is coming down. If you look at this, just the three uh, moving averages, yes, the Dow, yes, the nine, yes, the 14, you can see it's really close to turning down. It only, you know, that since March the 6th, I think it's March the 6th, that green line has kept one in the trade. If you've been long, the QQQ, there was one moment where you could have got, you would have been taken out and then got right back in the next day. So once, just one day since March, since November the sixth. Yeah, the, tr the trend is. You know, I was, I was talking yesterday. I mean, that's how the CTAs, Basil. Uh, you know, including the guy about the, you know John Henry, all these guys, they're trend followers, and anyone, particularly in the futures market right now, as a trend follower, is like this trend's been amazing, man. Right? Yeah. It it really has been, and not only that. Every every day you look in amazement. I mean, yeah. there are stocks that are you know there are stocks like SMCI, and I've talk, been talking about the round numbers. Yeah, that's up twelve hundred percent this year. This is amazing. It's down eighteen dollars right now. But look at this. The way it's gone up. Actually, it's very interesting because one of the things I'll be talking about, amongst many others, is the the round numbers. And if you go to SMCI, I can't even count. I've, I've lost count of the number of round numbers. And what normally happens is. I, when you see a round number, I often, often think it's because someone desperately wants whatever that stock, right? Yeah. They just put it in, I want it, boom. But it made a 1,229. This is a super microcomputer. Um, it makes a 1,229 round number high, same day as it makes a 12, 12.00 open. That was peak D, and it's starting to pull back. Look, I, this, this gray mass is all the number, uh, the round numbers, even today. It had a 1,085 low, a round number low. I, to me, something's not right here, and I think that these stocks are going to come back, and uh, these people are going to be Folks, left holding the bag at least short term. Folks, come on over to our website right now. Sign up for Basil's newsletter. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. You're going to be in a great workshop Tuesday the 19th. Basil, have a great weekend, safe weekend. We look for a show Monday. Same to you, Tom. Stay Thank right you. there, folks. Come right back. Oh.